what I started to realize at St. Francis was it wasn't something wrong with the men. It was something wrong with the therapy. Our entire mental health profession is geared towards the feminine mode where they believe that if you can heal, it's only through crying and talking about it. Those two things, crying and talking about it. And men have very different ways of doing things. In fact, we've been helped tremendously by some research in 2002. A woman in uh, UCLA named Shelley Taylor wrote a fascinating book and did research. Uh, it's called The Tending Instinct is the book. But in it, she makes the important point that all of the stress research prior to this point is only done on male subjects. So all of the things you've heard about fight and flight has to do with men. And in fact, what I found at St. Francis was it was a perfect fit because the men would do two things when they were really, really stressed. They would move to an activity that honored somehow the loss, which is your fight part, or they would move to an inactive state where they'd pull back and process. That's the flight part. Now, these two things have been shamed over and over and over again. You know, men are shamed by not dealing with it because they're either pulling back or they're moving into an active mode. But it's important to know that these active modes are just as healing as crying and talking about it. They're just not as well known. We don't know about them. And I saw this over and over at St. Francis Center. And so I started asking men different questions. Instead of saying, what do you feel about this? I'd ask him, what are you doing about it? Because how many times if you ask a man what he's feeling, and he'll say, oh, man, I'm, so I'm, a, I'm fine. I'm fine. And you say, well, what about your grief? He says, I can't do anything about that. Right? You heard that before? Think masculine. There's no goal, no objective. Men will find objectives to then move them into a state where they're next to the pain, right? And by that, they're dealing with their emotions. They're processing things in their own way. It just goes more hidden. Anyway, Shelley Taylor did this wonderful research where she realized that men were the only subjects for the stress. Then she looked at, well, let's just do women. What do you think she found? What she found was women, when they're stressed, don't fight or flight. Women, when they're stressed, tend and befriend. Tend and befriend. Google that one. You'll get loads of data, but it's very important for us to know because what it tells us is when women are stressed, they will move towards interaction. When men are stressed, they will move towards action. It's a very important bifurcation right there that tells us that men are going to do things differently. And they have a very different way of doing things. And because men don't do it in the way women do it, doesn't mean there's something wrong with them. Now, Taylor went a step farther. She found that there were hormones underlying all of this. And what she found was that there's this hormone called oxytocin. Anybody heard of oxytocin before? <laughs> yeah. They call it the cuddle hormone. Because when you get a burst of oxytocin, you want to come up and cuddle people. You want to hold people. You want to get close, right? So both men and women, when they're stressed, get a burst of oxytocin. It's natural. Taylor looked underneath this, and what she found was the woman's estrogen amplifies the effects of the oxytocin. Women really want to hold. They really want to cuddle. And the man's testosterone negates the effects of the oxytocin. Physically, he does not have the same need to move towards people and to hold. This is really important data for us to know because men have been shamed for a long, long time for not doing this. Think about uh, sex. It's a nice thing to think about. <laughs> After sex, we all get a burst of oxytocin, right? Guess what happens? The women say, oh, let's cuddle. And the man says, nope, the game's on. <laughs> right? Right? And that's what's happening. Underneath all of this is a physical reason for it. You know, the men's testosterone has negated his oxytocin. The woman's estrogen has pushed it up. She wants to cuddle. We're very different.